show. It looks like former uh, former owner Tim Norman from the show Sweetie Pie is sending to life in federal from for <laughs> wait 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 what is sending to life in federal prison for murder oh. for hire against his nephew and Andre Montgomery Jr. Thank you so much. Stop playing with my Florida education, man. Popping collars over here. Pop, pop. All right, Floyd. Um, <laughs> thank thank you, Floyd. But welcome to Sweetie Pie's shooter and murder of Sweetie Pie's reality star. Please guilty. So basically, we watched uh, some content on this that was breaking it down so we could bring it to y'all. And if you didn't know that this was actually a show on the Oprah Network and the grandma was the, uh, the owner. thief. Yeah, mm-hmm. the owner. And, uh, you know, she ran everything and she had the show. And uh, who was the guy that committed the act? Or, uh, Tim. Yeah. yeah. What, what, what was he to her? He was, he was a, like a son-in-law. Yeah, he was like the the son. Uh, he was the son because he's a nephew. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So he was one of the son. Oh man, that's messed up. So you know, you, you see that this woman tried to do everything to take care of her family and get them a better situation, and then you have this guy allegedly take out his nephew for insurance money because, I mean, and I didn't even understand. We were watching the old clips of the show, even, and the grandma was like, "Hey." Uh, or someone was telling the grandma that hey tim got a blank check Mm -hmm. (laughs) that he said to make sure it's from the sweetie pie account and she was like did he say it was for she goes it said it was for the company and she's like i didn't ask him to buy anything (laughs) and she's like oh i'll just check the books later so it's like it sounded like dude whatever you were doing they were gonna give you the money so i don't understand why you would take out an insurance policy on your nephew and then pay someone to merc him yeah, it doesn't make any sense. This insurance policy was like 450 50 uh 50k. So, I mean, it was a lot of money. Uh I can understand it, but I mean, like that's crazy like he was going to be like I guess him and his nephew would have been the owner of the whole Sweetie Pie establishment once the grandma passed, but he didn't want to wait for that. He needed to, he wanted more money. And he supposedly spoke in, spoke to a stripper. The strip the stripper had a friend, so it was four people that got arrested. He got arrested. The stripper got arrested. The man got arrested. God dang, that's like a Rico. Uh, one more person got arrested. Yeah, we don't know about him yet, but we got a video clip. We got a video clip. Meanwhile, a guilty plea in a murder for hire case involving a reality dudes, TV shooter. star from the show Welcome to Sweetie Pies. Tra- Travel Hill is one of four people charged in this case and he confessed to killing Andre Montgomery back in 2016. Montgomery is the grandson of Sweetie Pie's founder. The also charged in that himself. case is Montgomery's uncle, Tim Norman. It's uncle, man. How but you Matt, get taken out by your uncle? But how you get how do, how you pay a shooter? And they say they paid 9k just for this whole thing. This wire transfer for a, a whole bunch of wire transfers up to 9k. You paid 9k for the shooter to do the job. The shooter gets arrested and then snitches. What's the point? I could have did it myself. Yeah. And the crazy part was the way they took him out. You're was, all thinking like, I know, I know ways that you could have got away with it. You just came to me. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> and then the and the grandma was saying, "Oh, it was crazy the way he got shot." So he got oh, a, she was like, "He got he got uh, taken out randomly." She's like, "It had to be someone he knew. It just had to be exactly because he got a phone call. He went outside. He got shot. It's like he wouldn't come outside for nobody else." So I mean, they did a whole investigation about this, and the crazy part was Tim Norman was all on social media saying it wasn't me. Thank everybody for their prayers and hopes to we're gonna get through this. And turns out that you did the whole thing like you was just being a greedy, greedy person. Yeah, I mean, you could tell his mind wasn't right. Uh, look at his haircut. I don't I, know what that t- is. I mean, he's tried. To, he was trying to do a faux hawk, but it did, did not look right on his funny shaped head. This ain't two thousand two. You had Rock- Roscoe Dash. Roscoe Dash was not 2002, fool. <laughs> Roscoe Dash was like Roscoe Dash was like 2010, 2011. So, you know, you get the drift. <laughs> oh my God, 2002. This is coming from 2002 is like Nelly. This yeah, this is coming from the COP. I know, I know my math. <laughs> <laughs> you're, yeah, you're a cop. <laughs> you're a COP. He said it here. Don't trust this man. He's a COP. You know, he's a little, he's a little, he's a little piggy that could. You said it, not me, man. You got to check him. He's wearing, you got to check him. He's wearing a wire over here. Is he wearing a wire? You got to watch this, man. He done, he done ripped out his headset. That was so funny. That was so funny. But so what'd you are again? 
Let's see. <laughs> you, I'm just clarifying. You go, you know, as a resident COP. That's a cop. Uh, I mean, POC. <laughs> I meant to say POC. I said it backwards. Oh my God. See, man. Yeah, yeah, I know, man. I'm, I got a little. These jokes write themselves, people. <laughs> don't blame me. Brandon Strawberry Margaritas. Yep. And, here, and don't blame me for this next topic.